woke up in the harbor. It's super glassy out today, but we're gonna go check the weather, make sure the weather's gonna be good for the next uh, week. We heard it's supposed to get really windy tomorrow, and we don't wanna get stuck out on the island in, um, we don't wanna get stuck out on the island with a huge wind blowing. Because uh, I heard that maybe the anchorages aren't good when it's really windy. So we're going to check on that today before we actually commit to heading out there. So the wind and the waves were arriving a little bit earlier than we had previously thought. But if we left soon, we could still make it to the island before they hit. Our biggest concern about the trip, however, was once we got out there, when the wind started blowing 30 knots, was there going to be a safe place to anchor our small boat? We got in our boat and started motoring around the harbor, hopefully to find someone that knew what conditions were like out there in high winds. We also took to social media to see if we could find someone there with an opinion, and boy, there were plenty. We spoke with Harbor Patrol, but they couldn't offer any advice except to talk to Towboat USA. Heading to Towboat USA to see if they have a better opinion on what's going on with this weather. Towboat USA was too busy to talk, so at this point we would take advice from anyone. And also, my friend, it is wise to be taking good advice when you hear it, no? Return to Zoltar, and I will give you more words of wisdom. After talking to Zoltar and all the other people on the dock, we were told that the best source of information regarding Santa Cruz was Island Packers. Okay, so talk to the guys that run Island Packers. They work out there every day, and they said that, like, smugglers and... Scorpion weren't going to be good, but they gave us an anchorage that was that we highlighted on the map. So I think we're going to go for it then. Get the boat going, and um, they seem to think we're going to be fine out there. And since they work out there on a regular basis, I figured that's probably a good resource since he's out there daily. So, time to get water and get our ice and then push off. See how it goes. With the prospect of the waves getting larger towards evening, we grabbed our fuel and ice as quick as we could to get on the road. Thank you. You got your you got your vest on? Yeah. Thank you. You're gonna ride the whole way there? Uh, yeah. I wanna make sure everything's strapped down in here. Getting the last little bit of food into us before we launch. Let's see what it has in store for us out there. There's boats going out, that's a good sign I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then the Coast Guard will really have their hands full. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like, <laughs> kind of like when the penguins when the penguins jump into the water, you know, like hey, yeah. that guy's going. It must be there, safe. Yeah. Let's give this. And once we had everything secured, we left the marina and headed out into the ocean. Our trip was going to be about twenty nautical miles, so we figured about four or five hours to get us out to Santa Cruz. Our last interaction was with a few sea lions that were hanging out on the channel marker, enjoying the sun. Oh, look at him! Although we didn't have a standard jack line, we still got Cass into the habit of keeping herself clipped in when she was moving around the boat. Whoa, danger girl! Safety girl, here! We seemed to be staying ahead of the worst of the winds, but we kept our sails reefed just in case those gusts came up later. The wind was going to be in our face the entire way there, so we kept the sails close hauled. We kept ourselves up, but we did periodically run our motor to reduce the amount of time it was going to take to reach Santa Cruz Island. The waves continued to build, and it was turning into a pretty bumpy ride. About three hours into the trip, Sam thought it would be a good idea to check to make sure we didn't have our fenders out. It actually turned out that the fenders were fine. I was just a little bit confused. How would you describe, describe the crossing at this point? Just great. Just, uh, you know, going through the waves, getting, getting, we're making great progress. About, about an hour out. 
It was turning into a pretty wet ride as we beat against the waves for hours. How would you describe the trip so far? It started out smooth sailing. It started to match my jacket color. Three-hour tour is not a three-hour tour. Just like Gilligan. As we approached Santa Cruz Island, it started to provide us with protection from the wind and the waves and made for a much nicer trip. I'd say we uh, learn, you learn a lot about yourself on this crossing, about how wet you can be. <laughs> um, I think it's like four to, is it four to six foot seas with a two foot chop. I think it's gone up since we left, but we're, Doing okay. Okay, so we made it across the channel mostly. We're just coming up on Santa Cruz Island for the first time. It looks totally amazing. It's super wavy out there for a while and Sam got seasick and uh, casted good. Uh, just set out here with me, we did okay. Just had a couple of beers made it. Um, and it's really uh, beautiful out here. You can see like there's a few sailboats already in the harbor, so that's a good sign. It's, I mean, it might not be like a really bad place to be. Some people told us that you, you couldn't stay out here on nights like tonight. Um, someone else from uh, Island Packers gave us a pro tip that we need to go a little bit further around the point, so we'll see how that looks. Who knows, hopefully by uh, tonight we'll all be sitting around having wine and, and relaxing. It felt really good to get our anchor down and finally have a chance to relax. We got Greg fishing off the coast of the Channel Islands here. Greg. I'm fishing for uh, uh, whatever they told me to fish for out here. There's only two days in the season, so I gotta see if we can knock something out quick. We You're fishing little... with a lure that looks like a fake squid? I think a little squiddy so. squid. Yep. I just think it looks good. If you're a fish out there, just realize what's going yeah, on. It looks like a tasty morsel. Oh, that's the cast I was looking for. There you go. Okay, Cass, so explain how you, how, you, how you go safely from one end of the boat to the other. It's easy. Okay, let me get you uh, not unclip it yet. You know, do it like that, then uh, unclip it. There you go. Good. Good job. Got the gin and tonics going. It's a nice drink to make on the water because you only need two ingredients. Well, you need lime also. You need prey and green and ice but yeah. and water. Well, so the, the so. Show. We got treated to a beautiful sunset and also an amazing moonrise as we prepared to hunker down for the evening. Wow, that moon is so light coming up. There is no cell phone coverage out at Santa Cruz Island, but we did have a Garmin in reach with us that we were able to use to ping our weather. We were currently anchored with wind gusts hitting about 21 miles per hour. By 5 a.m., they were going to increase to 41 miles per hour, and that was going to continue on till about noon when they were eventually going to die off. I was fairly confident in our anchoring system, but there was some concern on the boat about how much we'd be rocking in the morning. You can see from this stabilized video that we were already starting to feel the effects from the swell. We're in our anchorage. We're in 20 feet of water. We put out 200 feet of rope for our uh, 10 to 1 scope. It's wavy, and it's not as wavy as it's going to get. Like, at 7 a.m., it's supposed to get, like, ridiculously crazy. The winds uh, the winds right now are, like, 20, and they're going to go to, like, 40 or 45 in the morning. The swell is going to go from, like, 6 to 10. We think we're somewhat um, shielded, but um, we're not really yeah, sure. It's kind of weird because like the chart platter shows us going at like three miles an hour, but it means, but that's only between like, we're on anchor. So we're going like three and a half miles an hour in the left and right direction. We're gonna learn a lot. Like I'm really excited because we're gonna learn a lot about uh, heavy weather anchoring or at least moderate weather anchoring. What do you think? <laughs> and there's a chance 
We will never do anything like this again because we'll learn the hard way. But learn, I, I hear that, but like learn the hard way to me is this great opportunity to like, um, to like. I just don't even want to know what I'm going to feel like tomorrow like, at 7 a.m. A little farther in the direction. It's better if I didn't even know, like I'm going to worry about it all night now. I think we're going to be able to sleep, I think. We've got a good anchor. We've got a lot of road and a fresh new anchor line. So we're not going anywhere. It's just a matter of surviving the um, Rocky. So we'll see. Oh yeah, tomorrow we're gonna like sit in the boat and play I games. No, we just hang out and nope, we're gonna be sicker than dogs. I know, it's a little wavier than we expected. I mean, we kind of expected it to be somewhat wavy. Well, we just haven't ever been in waves like this in this small boat. Just made this like green bean and pork loin. Yo. Obviously, our seasickness is not bad enough that even good food tastes real good. Oh man. I'm just remembering <laughs> the first time I like went down to get my hat. I came back up and I'm like, well, <laughs> but I'll do it. Oh my God, I almost choked on my mouth. Right here we are right now on the anchorage. The other boats here are they're a lot bigger than us. They're sitting all in this area right here. But we were told by the people at Island Packers that like this is a better spot around this point. Everyone else is here because um, there's a big cliff wall here that protects us from the winds that are coming down down valley. And here you're not protected from the down valley winds. The problem is, is the swell, and the swell is wrapping around this way, kind of hitting us. It's not bad. It's like, what, one foot, two foot swell? We're basically just testing to see if the island packer guys know what he's talking about. Yeah. Because and that's how we decided to do everything was what he said. Yeah. And then again, we are not sitting at home watching Netflix. We are out <laughs> experiencing. True, that's what I've been doing for the last 10 months. Like, like uh, you could be at home just like doing nothing and, and saying like, yeah, the waves are too big. Or you can be out here. Mm. We're kind of rocking and rolling on the boat here. And we decided it was a good time to eat a bunch of Cheetos. <laughs> Guys, is Cheetos is Cheetos the the food of seasickness? Mm, maybe. Um, it's just I cannot stay up. Mama, let me go to bed. I told Cassie that she had to stay up late because I thought <laughs> the later she stayed up, the more it would be that she would possibly sleep during the crux of the storm. And now she's exhausted and cannot keep herself up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cassidy. So. Today, never eat marshmallows, by the way. One thing, they can make your hair super tangly, and it will cause lots of hair to get on this little sticky ball, and then you have none hair left. And by the way, rolling is fun, especially on the sailboat. Wow, is that really correct? Yep. Dad, do this again. 10 to 10. Dad, 10 do it again. to 10. That's our lucky numbers. Dad, 10 do it again. to 10. Yes, yes. We're on the boat, so it's hard to control your body. <laughs> <laughs> Cass is trying to stay up till midnight. She wants the yes. tips for staying up late. Yeah. Yes. Loud electronic music. Chocolate cake, bright lights. And don't go sailing all day. So. Dad send this out to uh, YouTube. You guys can give us answer how to say that. Maybe today. Because... We're trying not to go to sleep too early. Oh my gosh. Wake up. You're totally like repeating what you've heard on YouTube. Like, and so if anyone has questions on or has answers to how to below. stay up, you can comment below. Comment down below. <laughs> comment down below. And, and like tell us your answers. We've got our own marketing campaign right next to us. Yeah, okay. So much Give us answers. Comment down below. <laughs> like us. <laughs> and subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> yeah, there you like go. And subscribe. Night night from day one. Bye. Thanks for watching episode two, and we hope you subscribe so we can see you back for episode three, where we wake up after a long night of sleep, find ourselves in conditions that are still pretty windy 
And as rookies, we go on a hunt for fish, lobster, and a new anchorage. <laughs>